This is Taos, New Mexico, where architect Michael Reynolds has spent the past three decades perfecting his system of sustainable buildings. Known as Earthships, they're best known for the recycled tyres that are used to form the spine, but there's much more to it than that. The houses are off-grid and they recycle all their water. There's a greenhouse at the front of the building that recycles the water and produces food for the inhabitants. Michael says he can get the utility bills down to $100 a year. And if anyone who buys one of his houses has to pay more than that, he says he'll pay the difference. On the windswept Earthship Estate in the New Mexico desert, the outside temperature is near zero and it's getting ready to snow. But inside the Phoenix Earthship, it's a steady 21 degrees. First impressions are of light and comforting shade and the bizarre artistic touches that are neither essential nor to everyone's taste. An ornate fireplace, like something from Tolkien's Middle Earth, is coupled with a flat screen television. A cement rendered tub for two is the centrepiece of a bathroom that sparkles in the reflected light of dozens of coloured bottles used to build the internal walls. A conservatory like Glasshouse creates the south face of the building, helping to regulate the inside temperature and provide an abundance of food. Bananas, figs and tomatoes are framed with hanging gardens of leafy vegetables and an internal fish pond, all strikingly out of context to the harsh outside terrain. But it's what you can't see that matters. The building is firmly rooted in its surroundings, but there is nothing to give away the fact that its backbone is made up of earth-filled recycled tyres. Rainwater is harvested from the roof and stored in large underground tanks. The gardens are filtering water that has been used to wash and bathe. The water will be reused, dramatically cutting the building's water consumption. For all its environmental attractions, the question is whether Earthship is a good place in which to live. Some people may find the expansive use of render and bottle walls too much, but at night, low voltage lights play off the soft lines and sparkle through the coloured walls. There's something comforting sleeping in the cave-like chambers behind a series of glass airlocks to maintain temperature. Come daylight, despite the frigid conditions outside, the floors are warm enough for bare feet and the air fresh from the building's natural ventilation. <laughs>